In this video, I'll be showing you how to how to rip the DVD content and uh, convert it to a certain video format, and you know the format that you can use for 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 your online course, such as a uh, you know flash compatible format or something like that. Okay. All right. First thing you need to do is, of course, you know, insert the DVD into the computer, your computer, and uh, okay. So. This is DVD icon, you know, it's in my computer now. Okay, and for ripping, what you need, you know, some people might think, you know, you can just, can I just copy uh, the files on DVD? In some cases, yes, you can. Let me show you. Okay, come on, go, go, go. See, these are the video files on DVD, and you can, yes, you can copy those files, uh, VOB files. You can copy these files and uh, you know use some program to to edit and process. Some programs will allow you to do it, and uh, all programs might allow you to do it if uh, these files are not encrypted. It's always you know safe to to use a, a program like what I'm doing, what I'll be using now, DVD decryptor, DVD decryptor, a program like this to you know rip the content of the DVD first instead of just copying and pasting from the DVD disc okay so uh, use this program to so two, there are two steps ripping part you know you rip the DVD content then use the file to to do whatever you want to do editing or uh, you know uh, converting the file format to FLV, MP4, uh, Windows Media, and QuickTime, all kinds of stuff, uh, the formats you can do. Okay, so this is a program uh, I would use, DVD Decryptor. Uh, it's free, and you can get this pro uh, program. You can download it from many different places, and just uh, search for DVD Decryptor, and I think that the latest, I mean, newest version of the program is I think it's 3.5.4, but it's it's a slick program, you know. So I would uh, rather use this program instead of uh, many other fancy programs to to for for all my DVD processing. Okay. So you have this program, and it it has already read the content, and there are two ways you can read the content: file and IFO. Okay, file. See, if I ch if you choose file mode, it's going to read all the files on DVD. You know, IFO. Well, you know the files you I just you just saw on DVD when, when you open the DVD uh, video folder, you saw all these files listed, and so you can read those files without the encryption. Okay, and IFO. It's a chapter mode. In other words, see chapter one, two, three, four, five, six. This video contains twelve chapters, and you know the video file contains twelve chapters. So you can uh, rip by chapter by chapter. For example, you can just select chapter, or you just need a chapter uh, one. Then you just you know uncheck all these chapters, and you know. Then you, you can just uh, the extract, rip the, the chapter one. You can do that too. If you want the whole thing, it doesn't really matter if you go with the chapter mode or, or file mode. With the file mode, you know, you can really uh, rip the part portion of the DVD because you're gonna have to rip the whole thing as one. Whole, vi whole video, okay. So, and uh, going back to IFO, IFO mode, which is a, a chapter mode. Okay, it's reading. To actually read the content, all you have to do is just click this, you know, I, this button. But before you do that, there's one thing you want to make sure, you know, the setting. You want to make sure the settings are, settings are correct. Okay. See, if you are using the file mode, you know, this is a setting for the file mode. One thing you want to make sure is that you know you don't really really want you don't really want to um, 
have a file splitting arm. Because I just want just one big file just for, for, for one movie, one film, one DVD. Unless there are two movies or something. So I don't want to split the video. So make sure, you know, I think you, you, you don't want to either. So make sure you select none. No splitting. S same goes with the IFO chapter mode. Okay. See, file splitting. You don't want to split. Then if you don't want to split the video, into a different different files, smaller files, and say none. Okay, that's one thing you need to make sure. And uh, there are other things, but default settings. Default settings are okay, as far as I know. So, okay, so say okay. You know, th here you get the uh, DVD description about the encryption region number wow and uh, RCE protection no copyright protection system type none because uh, uh, the faculty at uh, the you know, anthropology department created this DVD they didn't put the uh, copyright you know protection or encryption at all so uh, technically I didn't have I don't have to go through this process but you know let me repeat it anyway then uh, where you wanna destination? Where do you wanna store the ripped content? Okay, I don't wanna use a default place. Okay, so let's create a new place. I don't know. It's for work, so I'm gonna go here. Uh, it's a new folder. Anth anthropology course. Okay. So I'm gonna repeat right there, and uh, and click, and just wait for about f uh, four or five minutes. Then uh, it, it'll be it'll be done. Okay. <laughs> All right. You get this uh, really nice uh, sound when when it's done. Here I have the videos, video files that was just cre been created. The OB file, which is a video file, 3.61 gigabytes. And the info file is uh, one of the, the DVD files. And, uh, and the text file contains uh, video uh, info and audio info, which can be helpful. And that's it. This is the first half of uh, the DVD uh, video conversion uh, tutorial. And in my next video, in my second half of the video, I'll, sh I'll be showing you how to take this uh, VOB file and uh, convert it to uh, something like a you know more web compatible uh, video format, such as MP4, FLB probably mp4 with the h.264 video codec and AAC uh, audio codec or something like that okay so uh, hope you watched my uh, second half video and uh, I'll see you next time